Put it up full mass. I need officials and authorities at these games to be more vigilant. Uh, this is a family event. A male Karen at an NBA game calls Russell Westbrook boy. It made sure he's teaching the young people the way that he wants them to go. Um, obviously, racist, obviously demeaning, and it has no place anywhere, let alone a facility where you actively recruit families to join. Um, this is not the first time, obviously, uh, Russell Westbrook, West, excuse me, Westbrook has been um, a victim of some of this rhetoric and racial vitriol before. You know, at some point, you know, humanity becomes humanity, and you can't you can't keep pushing someone. This is why I'm telling officials and exec, executives and the security protocol: you have to do better. You have to do better at regulating this kind of stuff, uh, Senator. Uh, it's unfortunate uh, that this happened, but it happens actually a lot. Uh, we don't always get the video footage of it, but we do hear about the aftermath. What say you? Yeah, that's right. And unfortunately, even him calling him boy, again, laced with anti-black racism in particular. We just got to just tell the truth here. You know, my grandparents, my maternal grandfather was born around 1914. And I remember him telling stories about being called boy by white folks when he's a grown a man. Uh, there is mm -hmm. a history and a lineage mm -hmm. in this country of dehumanizing and trying to emasculate Black men by calling them boy and laws, both well de facto in, in practice and de jure uh, abilities for white people to be able to act this way. And so this yep. man is just a 21st century version of that. You know, Doc, when you were telling this story, it just also reminded me of what Jackie Robinson, for example, had yes. to endure as the first you know black player in, a, in major league sports and him being told how he had to comport himself in order to back some of these people off from him when he wasn't doing anything wrong. It was them. It was their anti-blackness yep. uh, anti that caused them to treat him in that way. So the more things change, the more they stay the same. And that, that white man used the word boy deliberately. It, oh, wasn't, yeah. I, it wasn't an accident that he called him a boy. And he said, I purchased these seats, boy. In other mm -hmm. words, you know, I got a right. You know, there's all kinds of stuff we can weave into that too. You know, ownership, I own this seat. You're here to entertain me, boy. And so I have every right to be here. And you should be just happy that I have graced you with my presence. Yeah, and, and so many times you make such a great and compelling point. So many times we have conformed to racism. That's right. Rather than telling racism, you must conform to our rules that racism will not permeate in this culture or in this facility. And with Jackie Robinson, a lot of people are not aware that Jackie Robinson was not the greatest baseball player out of, let's say, the Negro League. That's right. You had some gotcha. amazing talent that Jackie Robinson would have told you back in that day. Could do much, much more on that field. But Jackie Robinson was willing to be the temperament required in order to have that position. And he combined these dynamics together. Athleticism was superb, obviously, but he also had to accept what he was breaking through. And he had to once again conform in a way. 
to people calling him the N word, et cetera, when he walked out on the field and not acting out of anger. Uh, I, you know, everybody ain't able.